Hello, I'm Marie Jo Walekamp, pediatric endocrinologist from the Netherlands, Amsterdam, and I just shared a very nice session about management of pediatric patients with short stature. And one of the most interesting lectures there was given by Professor Margaret Bokushevsky, and she uh, told us about the new consensus uh, meeting from the Growth Hormone Research Society. And uh, I would like to invite you to uh, present again the highlights of your lecture. Yeah, with all the advances in um, genetics and technology to diagnosis and treat for treatment of children with short stature, the Growth Hormone Research Society decided to do a workshop, a three days workshop, to discuss these topics with uh, experts from all the world. So the, the workshop was in Lisbon in March this year and we discussed about the, 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 the importance of uh, clinical uh, data, history, uh, all the information about genetics and all growth hormone measurements and all these things. And it was very important to have this symposium to present our uh, consensus or not maybe a consensus but our guidelines for for this these topics it was very interesting to to share with everyone our um, uh, what we got from the the, the, the meeting and uh, what we have in our publication that was published this year it was very interesting okay thank you and then the final lecture was given by professor ron rosenfeld and he was looking at the future and I was wondering if you can tell me what can I tell my patients about the future diagnostics and therapeutic tools? Thank you, Dr. Vallenkamp. Um, as we all know, the, uh, the field of short stature has been dominated for decades by evaluation and treatment of defects of the growth hormone IGF axis. But as we've heard throughout the meeting um, <clears throat> here that uh, with emerging genetic testing, it's become apparent that there is a much greater variety of growth disorders. Some of the evaluation procedures that will emerge over the next few years, in addition to genetic testing, include new growth hormone stimulatory tests, and some of the emerging therapies will be longer-acting growth hormones, uh, perhaps longer-acting IGF-1 products, and in addition, uh, exciting investigations about the potential utility of C natriuretic peptide for the management and treatment of various skeletal dysplasias and other growth disorders. So it's a very exciting time for pediatric endocrinology. Thank you. Thank you very much.